What's going on with my fellow collectors? I'm back. And yes, more Batman DXO12 fast comparison. I got 15 minutes that iPhone allows me to upload, so let's jump into it. First, starting off box, different from our original DXO2 box. Shiny uh, over here, a metallic type paint that's going into the design of the color. Well, I shouldn't say paint, but, you know, a metallic type coloring. A uh, silhouette type picture of Gotham. Now over here, you got a matte black type finish. Shiny broken bat symbol, as you can see. Um, it's more of a glossy type finish. I like this box. I like it better. So I'm going to go with this box uh, compared to the old one. Got a nice big scratch, as you guys can see. I don't know how that happened. All right, accessories. All around new accessories this DX has, um, and some old ones that you might be familiar with. Uh, as you can see, the DX02 accessories comes with a nice amount also. But they both have their own differences between the two. As you can see, this one comes with the unmask. This one comes with the sonarize. My batteries ain't working, so you guys can't see the sonarize right now. But what they both still have in common is this sticky bomb gun, as you can see. Um, this one right here, I think the gold is just redone at the end of the day, whereas this one has more of a, dirt, a dirty gold type color. So, you see that? Um, kind of see that dirty gold color a little better over here as you can see alrighty um, what makes this DX stand out on its own is too it has this electric gun in my opinion I would rather have this electric gun over the the backpack as you can see right here but again I got them both so I'm kinda pleased to have them both in the collection so I can do a comparison and you know you can always use Batman figures for other displays like if you have the bat pod or the you know the the tumbler you know you can put one inside there if you need to so but uh yeah again the accessories is pretty much the same it's just this one comes with a bigger price tag compared to back in the day this one i i uh this one is 240 260 roughly depending on where you buy this one was 160 to 150 so uh, the Christian Bell head scope is phenomenal. I love it. Uh, you got to get it in your hands before you can really kind of completely judge it. I like the fact that they gave you a collar with this one so it doesn't just look like you just see that regular neck. Now you get a collar kind of so you can blend the head scope with the suit. Um, angry mouth, kind of same as the last, but now we get a more... I'm Batman type mouth, you know what I mean? And what are you looking at? Leave me alone. Ah! <laughs> but this one, you get the, well, I mean, you know, I just do my thing in Gotham City. So, <laughs> but uh, it was cool for its time. And here's the relaxed mouth. So, we still get the same amount of mouths, which is cool. Uh, Batarangs are touched up with the new gold color, as you can see. Same with the, uh, extra utility belt that you get actually got it fitted on this one already and again like I said it's just a difference in colors but as far as a utility belt look at that that's just kinda like stiff and you know it's not linked out how this new one that we have is which is superb I repeat superb now we actually have individual bat links for the utility belt so it gives a much better texture and design as you can see. And the actual compartments just pop. I mean pop right at you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so excited when I look at this figure, guys. It just comes out of me. But now, like I said, the compartments just pop out right at you. Uh look at the utility belt. I love this gold color. It has a more realistic gold color instead of this color right here which is supposed to be gold but it just looks kinda outdated and not as good as the new utility belt uh, what's different with this one is finally we get 
an in scale grappling gun. As you can see, compared to this one, the old one, which is so massive and ugly compared to the new one. As you can see, I mean, don't get me wrong, this one was good for its time right here, but I would rather have the new one with the new spring action. So, they definitely addressed issues with this figure. One of the issues people had was this grappling, uh, grappling gun is just too big in scale. So, I'm all for when a company redo a figure and they do the changes that we want to see. So, here you have it. That's the grappling gun, okay? Um, check out the bases. DXO2 base, new DX12 base. Do I have to say anything? Beautiful paint applications on the steps. We actually used to say, can we get a better type base with our DXs? Can we get some diorama type style? So they addressed that. You know, they addressed that and we got a diorama type style base this time around. And it flows lovely with the Batman, as you can see. Alrighty, uh... This one was cool for its time, but I would much rather have this one in the, in, in the DX this time around. You still got the LED lights if you need to turn them on. That's cool. Alrighty, now let's look at the Batman. Batman over here. Batman over here. Let's get a little far out view of them. Um... <laughs> The original boots, let's start from the bottom, work our way up to the top. The original boots were cool. I liked them a lot, and I still do like them. But now, this time around, uh, you get more of a better design and just a better flow with the costume. As you can see. Whereas these look a little not proportioned at times, even if you try to kind of place the ankle in the right places. It seems like because they're all one solid piece, it still takes its own form that it wants to take at times. Whereas now, they're cut at the ankle, so there's two separate pieces. And it just flows much better, like I said, as you can see. Let's see, show you that, okay. Alrighty. Uh, now we have, with the design of... Uh, the suit that you can see in the knee area, actual individuals, individual sculpted knee padded compared to it's made onto the suit so you don't really get an individual look so it kind of looks in proportion again with the suit at times depending on how the leg is turned. But over here you get one nice solid individual piece and it actually looks like Underneath here is like a hard type clear coat plastic where you can kind of see the actual grid design of the texturing of the armor knee pad. Whereas over here, you don't see none of that. Okay, so I would think all around better design in the suit area and knee area. Let's check out the actual suit itself. Now we get an actual fabric material suit. Whereas over here, you don't get that. It's just a rubber suit. Over here, the padding, the armor padding is more individual, which just pops. I repeat again, pops in your face, guys. Check it out. You see the beautiful line and sculpting of each individual armor padding. Compared to over here, it's there. You see it pops out at you, but just not as quite as fine detailing. And it doesn't seem like an individual piece like this is actually is. I always thought these legs seem a little kind of, kind of, uh, short and stubby. And maybe it just was the proportions of the costume. Whereas now, the legs contours the body very lovely. I mean, I'm sorry, the suit contours the body very lovely. Where you can see more of a, you know, a shape out of our Batman. And the legs don't look stubby at all now. It looks like he has his height compared to this Batman who just kind of look kind of stubby looking in all form. Alrighty, 
And again, like I said, you can just kind of see the, the, the beautiful texturing of the suit this time around. Uh, you got different grid type texturing, then you have some smooth type texturing on different armor pieces. Uh, individual sculpted cup area, whereas this is made onto the suit. Okay, let's check out the ab area. The ab area is done superb. Not as much pile in your face like this is over here. But you still have that awesome design, as you can see. And now you can get minimal articulation where you get no articulation over here. It's just one solid sculpted piece. Well, it is actually individual up in there where they're connected but glued together. But this is solid, though, at the end of the day, whereas this is fabric suit and you can get some articulation. Minor, but I'll take the minor articulation compared to none at all, which is over here. Uh, check out the arm area. Oh, before we go into the arm area, let's check out the top... top uh, actual chest armor again newly designed armor here over here it's more kind of a little bolder and it might have been good for that time of that movie the dark knight compared to the dark knight rises they might have toned it down and gave a more finer look in my eyes as i could see Things is just laid together very right with this figure compared to over here. I mean, don't get me wrong. Again, I can't stress that I do still have a, a passion for this figure. I'm not trying to shit on it. I'm just very pleased, and I'm just being honest with you that I think that Hot Toys has addressed all of my complaints and my last DX compared to now with this new DX. They have addressed all the complaints. Look at the neck area scrawny skinny type neck which was horrible in my eyes i mean i just didn't like it i mean i, I always have my little complaint about it uh you had to kind of really pose the head down to kind of get a better kind of view without seeing the scrawniness but over here now we get a better redesigned redeveloped type neck where you see more of a flaring out and a better kind of feel of a, you know, a protective collar for the neck. But it flares out to the collar, as you can see. Uh, check it out right there. You see what I mean, guys? Whereas this is just straight up and down, cylinder-like. Alrighty. And check out that head scope while we at it. Come on now, I hear people are complaining. This is definitely far one of the best head scopes we finally have for our Dark Knight series. Realistic look in the eyes. Look at the skin texturing and paint applications that are uh, going in behind the makeup area. Come on, guys. This is done very well. The cow is spectacular. Yes, I must say. But over here, <laughs> come on now. You want to complain? Look at where we came from. You want to talk about googly, cartoony looking type eyes? Oh man, look at that. I mean, again, you know, it's good for the time, but now we actually have, actually, uh, you can see the blood vessels. I can't really turn the eyes right now because I don't have a free hand, but now you can see the blood vessels at the corner of the eyes. That's one of the things I noticed that Hot Toys is doing now with their new DX. Uh, Purr's eye system. They're getting more and more detail with the eyeballs. Definitely welcome. But uh, again, this is a superb figure and all redesigned gauntlets as you can see. They redesigned them. More of a uh, individual piece where you can see the suit. If I was to take these off, you can see the suit through there. It's just better scoped at design compared to the originals. You know, you take them off and you get one big piece one big whole piece which is fitted over the rubber suit so in all in all this is a much better Batman DX in my eyes in my opinion oh and by the way the cape is a uh, one of my first velvety's I had got well the only velvety I got done by my boy Dean uh, for you guys to ask where I got it from so uh, again 
Loving this DX. I think it's definitely a must-have even if you have the old. If not, definitely get this one before it's gone. Moogie215 out. Peace.